All right, what's up guys? Back here today for another video, and today I am doing the Wisconsin Badgers. Um, in case if you did not know, actually, um, my favorite, this is actually my favorite Big Ten team, Wisconsin. If we went through each Power Five conference, my favorite teams would be, of course, in the ACC, as you all know, is North Carolina. I guess if I could, I guess I could tell you all my, uh, another team I really like, Wake Forest, um, yeah, but of course, you know, you would see ACC. SEC is Tennessee, Big Ten, as I just told y'all, Wisconsin. Big 12, I really don't have a team in the Pac-12, as y'all knew from the other video, was um, Oregon State. So, yeah. But anyways, today we are doing the Wisconsin Badgers. Um, yeah, so, of course, if you, in case if y'all don't know how these work, um, I'll first tell you how they finished the season and record from the previous season. And also how they finished on offensive defense nationally and in um, conference. So this will be, of course, the Big Ten. Um, I'll tell you how many total amount of returning stars they have. And, of course, I'll tell you how many offensive and defensive returning stars they have. Coming back, I'll tell you the schedule, games I think they're going to win or lose, what I think they're going to be going this year, and, of course, best case, worst case. So let's get underway with the Wisconsin Badgers. Um, last year they finished 4-3, and 3-3 three, three and three in conference play. Um, in offense, they finished 103rd nationally, 12th in the Big Ten. And then on defense, um, yeah, in offense, 103rd nationally, 12th in the Big Ten, yeah. On defense, they finished 5th nationally and 1st in the Big Ten. Um, and then also last year, they ended up beating a team I like, of course, you know, Wake Forest in the Duke's Mayo Bowl. I believe that was the first time it was ever a different name because it used to be always called the Belt Bowl, and now it's a new name, you know. It was always the belt classic and all that stuff, you know. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Anyways, um, they have eight returning offensive starters. No, eight returning defensive starters and seven returning offensive starters. So they have 15 total returning starters. All right, here's their schedule. September 4th, they're going to start the season at home against Penn State. September 11th, they'll be at home against Eastern Michigan. Then they go to a bye really earlier in the season, sort of like what um, TCU's doing. Um yeah. Um, then on September 25th, they'll be going to Chicago to play Notre Dame. October 2nd, they'll be at home against Michigan. Um, October 9th, they'll be on the road against Illinois. October 16th, at home against Army. Um, October 23rd, on the road against Purdue. October 30th, at home against Iowa. I almost said Iowa. <laughs> yeah, Oct anyways, October 30th, at home against Iowa. November 6th at Rutgers, and then November 13th at home against Northwestern, November 20th at home against Nebraska, then November 27th on the road against Minnesota. All right. September 4th at home against Penn State. Um, this should be a pretty good game. Um, I am going to give y'all the win here, and of course, surprise, I'm gonna, I have y'all beaten Eastern Michigan, so 2-0 going nearby, pretty good. Duh. Then, this is going to be a great game, and this could either go, this could go either way. But I do have y'all losing to Notre Dame. Um, yeah, sorry. But I will have you. But you come back home and play Michigan. I do have y'all beating them. I have y'all beating Illinois in the road. I have y'all beating Army. And I do have y'all beating Purdue. So it's a four-game winning streak. Iowa, on the other hand, this is tough. I really wanted to pick y'all to win here. But I do think y'all are going to slip up and lose this game to Iowa. At Rutgers, you'll win that. Northwestern should be a win there. It, it could be a decent game, and I have y'all winning that. And at home against Nebraska, win. At Minnesota, on the other hand, I think y'all are going to lose that. Um, yeah, so 9-3, and 7-2 in conference play is what I have. I have y'all going 9-3, and 7-2 in conference play. Best case scenario, I will say is 10-2. and two. Worst case, I'm going to say is 8-4. and four. So... Yeah, that is my prediction for the Wisconsin Badgers. And, uh, yeah, so one more prediction video after this till we get to my traditional ones I always do with the NFC South and ACC. Um, and spoiler alert, um, in case if you want to keep it, unless if you want this to be a surprise or whatever, then don't watch the rest of this video. Um, and thanks for watching. But if you do, wouldn't mind knowing who the next team is going to be, then here you are. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to tell you all the team now. The next team I'm going to be coming up next, and the final team I'm doing before I do my traditional ones, is going to be the Tennessee Volunteers out of the SEC. So, yeah. Anyways, y'all, thank you for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Peace out, and go Heels.